Troy is the distance between Mecca in the Middle East and Medina. Mecca, Medina in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia. The same the distance. The same distance. Now, why is that so important to us uh, African Americans here? That's what we call ourselves now, African Americans. And also as, as it pertains to the teachings of, of, uh, of, teachings of Elijah Muhammad because he uh, uh, learned the teachings in Detroit. Well, <clears throat> we have to realize that this is an old problem. This problem is a divine problem. Most of our people, the so-called Negro, as he was known uh, today, uh, he was not a, a, a Negro, but he was so-called. And um, he, uh, our problem, divine problem, God would have to solve our problem. And our people, like the people who went before them, don't like to hear God solving their problem. So they've tried to find a new route. So the distance between that was like <coughs> Prophet Muhammad, uh, 1,400 years ago, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, there, they ran him out of Detroit. They ran him out of Mecca. So he went to Medina and became strong and went back to Mecca and took the city. So, uh, so was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad ran out of, of Detroit, Detroit. Of Detroit. Of Detroit, and he came to Chicago and built up his followers here. So <coughs> the, the uh, uh, symbolic mm -hmm. uh, cities, uh, things here, and this uh, uh, man who came, uh, to meet and met the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and raise him from a dead level, we believe, and I know today, that that man is God. The book said he would come, and he did come. Jesus said he would come, and he did come. All of the prophets predicted him coming. None saw, all say he was coming. God revealed himself to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. God did not reveal himself to Moses. God did not reveal himself to Jesus. God did not reveal himself to any other man, but God revealed himself, and this is what the books say, that God would reveal himself in the last days. And that's why he says, in the, in, in the Bible, he says that Jesus said, it is expedient that I go back to my father. I mean, I die, because all of us die and go back to the father. It's expedient that I go. When I go back, the comforter then would come. Because if I stay here, I'm, I'm 2,000 years out of, out of due season. I, I, can't, I can't urge you in the judgment on the Gentiles. See, that's all in your Bible. But, but he died, and God came and raised up among us a mental uh, a people who was dead, a messenger, a divine messenger, with a divine word, a divine work. And this problem is a divine problem. And that's where the problem lies today. Nobody want to hear anything about divine each, each person would like to think in terms of their own ideology and not divine. Now, you know, with all these computers now, you go to the library, most people have the internet in their, in their home, you can look up the teachings of Elijah Muhammad, you get a very good, you know, cursory understanding. You may get some deep understanding of the message's teaching, but people will have a tough problem, I mean, tough time really embracing that God is a man, physical flesh and bone, who came to Elijah Muhammad in the 1930s in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, well, see, people <coughs> rather believe that God would come to anybody, that God would come to a Jew, uh, uh, God would come to a Gentile, that God would come to an Arab, or God would come to a Frenchman. They believe that God would come to anybody. But see, we ourselves don't even love ourselves. We ourselves feel that God would never come to a Negro. A Negro? Who's that? That dirty, nasty, low-down scum? Well, this is the Bible. The Bible says that <coughs> God did come. And that, and, 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 and that we were, are, are God's people like Lazarus in the Bible. We are there charmed by the rich man table. Though we made the rich man rich, but the rich man didn't divide the spoils with us. So black people, it, it's like any other thing. When you read the histories of the Holy Quran and the histories of the Bible, the people, uh, the people of Noah, they didn't want to hear Noah. They laughed at him, made mockery of him. Talking about it going to rain. Say, hell, it always cloud up and don't never rain. So they talked about, so they made mockery. So the same thing they done to Moses, I mean to Noah, they're doing it to, to me or to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and to the nation because they make mockery without knowledge. See, they are blind people. They are deaf people. The white man took them and turned them upside down and took all knowledge from them. Why one legislator said, I tremble when I think if there's a God. I think what our punishment would be, because we have cut off every avenue 
by way knowledge may enter the nigga world.